Hey guys, it's Steve. Welcome back to another weekly Grill Dome video. So it's Labor Day weekend 2014 and uh, a great dish to serve up to your friends and family this holiday weekend are pulled pork sandwiches. But in order to cut back on your cook time so you can focus on uh, hanging out with friends and family, I'm going to show you how to cook a Boston butt the hot and fast method. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so for this hot and fast Boston butt cook, the way we've got the grill dome set up is we have the indirect cooking rack in the down position with the ceramic stone sitting on top of it. That's gonna provide our indirect environment. What I like to do when I'm cooking a Boston butt is just put one of these little throwaway uh, pizza pans on top of the stone. That just kind of helps with clean up and collects a lot of those fat drippings. And then all we're doing is just taking our main cooking rack and setting that right on top. And we're gonna go ahead and get our lid shut and we're gonna get the grill dome stabilized to 350 degrees. Okay, so what I've got here is just a five pound Boston butt. This is a good um, lunch portion size for a couple families. If you're gonna be having a uh, you know, house full of people, you're gonna wanna smoke a butt that's you know, closer to 10 to 12 pounds. But again, the purpose of this video is just to show you how uh, quickly you can uh, cook a Boston butt on the grill dome uh, when you don't have a lot of time. So first thing we're going to do is you just want to use some cheap yellow mustard as a binder and get that rubbed down on all sides. Now just take some of your favorite pork barbecue rub and you want to give all sides a nice liberal coating to help promote a nice thick bark. All right, and there we go. So we have all four sides nice and covered with our rub there. That's looking awesome. So this is ready for the grill dome. Okay guys, so we've got our grill dome stabilized at 350 degrees and we're just gonna set the butt right in the middle directly over that drip pan. Then we're just gonna take a meat probe and make sure you're not hitting that bone. There we go. So we're gonna stick it right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and just get this lid shut. It's just past 9 a.m. in the morning. And so um, I'll pick back up in a few hours to see where we're at. All right guys, it has been right at uh, three hours. So it's 12 o'clock now. And my uh, wireless thermometer is telling me that this butt is already at 170 degrees. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek. Man, that looks awesome. So you can see how it's already formed up a nice bark. Uh, we've got about uh, 25, 30 degrees left, so we're going to keep the lid shut and I'll pick up when it's time to take it off and foil it. Okay guys, so it is right at four hours on our total cook time. The internal temp of this butt has already hit 200 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, get this butt pulled and get it wrapped in some foil. I like to use heavy duty aluminum foil. And all I do is just uh, put two, two sheets down, wrap the first one like that, and then come up with the second one. Do the same thing. And then we're gonna set it in the cooler. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sit our butt in the bottom of this cooler. And then I've got some beat up towels that I use for barbecue. And you just want to cover it. We're going to get this lid shut. You want it to stay nice and hot in here. And the idea here is to let this sit for at least a couple hours and allow that fat just to continue to break down. And then in a few hours, it'll be time to pick back up in the kitchen and pull this thing apart. All right, so I ended up letting this butt rest about three hours. So we're going to head and take it out of the foil. All right, let me go ahead and show you how easy this bone is just going to pull out. So that just slides right out just like that. Peel that little bit of meat off. You can see that right there. Came perfectly out. Then we'll just go ahead and dump all this into our pan here. All right, now what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna just tear this up and look how this just is falling apart like absolute butter. So that's what you're looking for. See how tender this came out with very, very little effort. It's just, just falling apart and so you're just gonna, it's good to use some of these uh, PVC gloves like this that you can just kind of put on 
and in a matter of seconds, you've got some awesome looking pulled pork. All right, so all we're gonna do here is we're gonna take some of our pulled pork and place it on a bun, just like that, just kind of stack it up. And what I like to do is I've got some pickled red onions that go awesome on pulled pork. So you just kind of place some of those on top, just like that. Oh man, this looks so good. I'll go ahead and uh, get that right there. And then lastly, just take some of your favorite barbecue sauce and just kind of drizzle it over the top. And the idea here is you just kind of want to um, make a platter of these. You can do them a little bit on the smaller side like this, or you can make them big, whatever you want. Just kind of stack them up like that. And then look at that. Awesome looking pulled pork sandwiches. Again, the, the butt cooked in four hours. Let it, we let it rest for a couple hours. Let me go ahead and take a bite. Mm, man, I tell you what, so, so tender. I love how Boston butts come out on the grill dome. Whether you're cooking them hot and fast like this or, or low and slow, it's just such a great product. And it's always a crowd pleaser to bust out some epic looking pulled pork sandwiches like this. So appreciate you guys watching. Hope you all have a, um, a safe and fun Labor Day weekend. Um, and check us out on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter. And keep in mind we have uh, new weekly videos um, on our YouTube channel. So if you like this video, give us a subscribe. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again soon.